everybody, and I am less hurt. I cooled down. I am now trying to still digest the news Cope. and just move on with life. We're here um, for you. Come thank on. you. Thank you. I forgot to mention in chat before they mentioned, uh, I think it was actually our producer in chat said that Aaron needs to do the uh, Pokemon, oh, Pokemon rap. rap. <laughs> so maybe Aaron, if you just take that back, do the homework, memorize the rap, and then maybe we mm -hmm. open next Squadcast with you just spitting pure, okay. pure bars. <laughs> just bars, Pokemon just bars. straight bars. bars. Okay, you yeah. got it. Straight I got bars. you guys next week. Next week. Next I'm going to learn about the Bulbasaur guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god i love that we have bubble sore right next to I know. Yeah. Is he, am i looking correctly is he right you're, here you're, am i, am I yeah, petting him right there. <laughs> yeah. you two are gonna get to know each other that is your pokemon okay yeah. that's where you all, right. all right <laughs> all right sounds good but, but we're gonna actually move on from pokemon into another kind of for me retro feel of a game battletoads released um yes. on 20th which was late last week and this is obviously a not a remake but a sequel to the original bad toads that was kind of kind of praised as like this game that was horrible because it was super hard it was it was a beat-em-up game by um it was a beat-em-up game and by playing it you would lose like years of your life because it was just <laughs> super difficult and it was it would but the gameplay was like also addictive have you guys ever played any beat-em-ups before well uh, it like kind of looks like i like arcade bars yeah sorry victoria what were you saying it kind of looks like cuphead where it's like you know really difficult game but you like want to keep going and beat it yeah yeah like exactly. have you guys heard of when cuphead came out everyone was saying how hard it was oh yeah, yeah. And, like yeah, all the bosses but like yeah. you can't put the controller down. Yeah, it definitely yeah. looks like it could be that that style of game. Yeah, I so you guys never played the original? No. I played at like arcade bars. Okay, well, you know what? Forget <laughs> Battletoads. Let's go. What? Uh, how I, 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 I played it briefly. Okay, fine. The original was just <laughs> really good. And and it was that. It was kind of like Cuphead. I love Cuphead. It was Cuphead was super difficult when it yeah. released. Um yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. more of a platformer because you have lots of jumping, but Battletoads was just like you're walking down the street, like Streets of Rage style, and you're just fighting. And or like the X Men arcade game. Oh yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. Or the Power Rangers game. Do you yes. remember? Yes. Now, uh, now you're speaking my language. <laughs> now I can be involved in the conversation. <laughs> the Power Rangers game. <laughs> For like half yeah. of the squad cast, <laughs> like I don't know these things. Um, <laughs> no, but it was it was super difficult. So everyone was really looking forward to this second installment of Battletoads. However, when mm -hmm. they first showed gameplay of it, they completely redid the art style of the game to kind mm -hmm. of update it. And I think it was hard for a lot of fans of the original to digest it because it looked so different. It was brightly colored um, and, and just didn't feel like Battletoads off the bat. So they got a lot of backlash when they first revealed the game. But now we're, it's out. And we, I got a taste of it. Uh, it was nice of Xbox to actually send me a code to talk about it with you guys today. Nice. And I'll be playing Flexed. it tomorrow on stream. So chat could really get a feel of the game. But I have to say, going into the second one, um, as a Battletoads fan, and I've also interviewed the developers of it. And from what they told me when I interviewed them, they are fans of the original. And they kind of wanted to bring that fandom to light. But in a refreshing way where people who don't necessarily know the first game can jump into it. And you can do that with this game. However, the game isn't hard enough as the original Battletoads. I think what made Battletoads really attractive is the fact that it was a different time. So you had to really grind out the game in the arcades and kind of it wasn't really in the arcades, but it was like the SNES style kind of. Yeah. vibing off arcades like how you have to really grind out a level to pass it it was mm -hmm. really pulling on your strings it was really just trying to get you upset and it was creating that love-hate relationship with this game this game now with the redone or reimagining of how Battletoads is it's very self-aware in its humor how it's written the story is short it's, i think it's a pretty much five hour long game 
And when it comes down to the gameplay, which should be the core of the game, it's okay. It, it's not really um, to that level of something that you would expect of, uh, you know, say, for example, Cuphead, right? Cuphead has very simple movements, very simple mm -hmm. buttons. However, it's the variety in the cup in each level of Cuphead that makes it more challenging each and every time and makes it refreshing. Here you mm. do have the variety of levels. Like they introduced a lot of mini games. Um, you have like these mini games where it's kind of like a shooter thing, Galaga style, where you're going across the screen and like shooting things up above. Um, you oh, have cool. like a rock, paper, scissors um kind of game. <laughs> yeah, there's there's lots of these little games. However, the core meat of the game, the beat em up, lacks that variety that you have in other modes. So you will be going maybe against like four to five different enemy types, which over five hours long could seem a little dry. That's not saying that you won't enjoy it. And I think they try to put in the mix of like mini games to make it feel different each and every time. But mm. when you look at the overall game, it kind of looks like I, I feel like the core beat em up style is like less than 50 percent of the game. When it's supposed to be a beat em up game, you get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. So I'm wondering for you guys, like, it's not saying that I'm not happy. Like, I think everyone should check it out if they have Game Pass because it's completely free on Game. It's available on Game Pass, so it's like pretty much free. Cool. Um, and it it is a fun da time if you're looking for like a quick game to pick up. However, if you're a fan of the original Battletoads, you may seem like slightly disappointed. So I'm wondering from you guys, um, has there ever been that game where they tried to revive that either went really well or just didn't do the full fan service that you were wishing? Hmm. Killer Instinct immediately comes to mind. Uh, yeah, I was thinking that too. Um, because they definitely they brought it back with the Xbox One, mm. and while like at first there was a limited amount of characters at launch, it was just this like it was just a really good fighting game, and it was very much in line with what everyone who is a fan of the original series would remember, but also modernized so that a new audience can be introduced to the characters, and then. Over time, as the game got passed on to Iron Galaxy, as a, I can't remember who originally was developing it, but I know it got passed on to Iron Galaxy, and they kind of took control from there. They just they just kept adding characters, and they added Battletoads as a DLC <laughs> uh, into the game. Um, and it's just like it had this ever-growing roster of characters. There was real good balancing in there, and it was just fun. Like, it was a genuinely fun, like, arcade-style fighting game made today and that's one like immediately that comes to mind when i think of a franchise being revived that just worked top to bottom um but for the most part when i think of other things i, I don't know there's not necessarily one that like specifically comes to mind but like in general i just remember overall that revivals often yeah. don't work whether mm -hmm. it's critically or just in terms of the financial success of the games people just aren't as interested so i don't know I feel Actually, like a lot of remakes are just like graphic updates. Mm, like, yeah. uh, I know there's this game, they recently remade the Destroy All Humans game. Yeah, right. But that was basically, they said they wanted to keep true to the original game. So it's like same storyline and stuff. They just basically made the same game, but with updated graphics. Um, other games that they people have remade was, I know Ratchet and Clank, didn't they remake the oh, first yeah. one of that? And there's this game Spyro called Spyro, too. Yeah, Spyro. That's and an they're basically always the, They're oh, always yeah. basically the same gameplay and story wise. It's just updated graphics. Well, um, in the chat, Recalibrate actually brought up a good one. It was Final Fantasy oh, yeah. VII Remake. Oh, yeah. Which, and they which, Bandicoot. Yeah, they did, they are, and uh, yeah, the new Crash Bandicoot that's coming out is like going to be a whole new one. But with oh, Final right, Fantasy, yeah. and RE2, cool. yeah. yeah, those are good. Um, they like changed up the story. In, yeah, uh, it, yeah, you're right. FF7 is more of a. It, that's why they called it a remake because it does follow the story in some aspects, but not really. Like, there's a twist at the end. I don't know if it's too. Early. How do we do spoilers here? Is it too early to talk about spoilers? But <laughs> never gonna play the game. <laughs> okay, we won't. We won't spoil it. But Alex, you're right. Like. Uh, they changed it up on that one. And Victoria, I think the reason why 
usually it's the graphical changes is because what Aaron said, um, remakes or reboots don't really do well. Um, mm. So usually when they're just trying to bring out the nostalgia of that game again and make money off of it, they don't want to touch with the core of the game. They just want to give it, update the graphics so it's more presentable. Our eyes. I guess I was thinking of like harsh. revivals. Oh, mm-hmm. instead of like instead of remakes and stuff, because like if we're talking remakes, like yeah, like RE2, RE3, those remakes are like really yeah. well made, yeah. you know. But I would, I guess I was like, because a like, Killer Instinct is like it's like a new game, yeah. You know and you I mean? notice this Battle like, Toads. Battletoads is a completely new game. Mm-hmm. Also, the Star Wars Battlefront two, like so the original, everyone is like, oh, the original is so good, and then yes. EA I think yeah. remade it, and it's kind of very different from the original. It had a lot of negative feedback at the start because oh, yeah. it was. <laughs> but I know people still play it. It, it and, was one of those games where they just they they took their time, they took yeah. all the feedback, and they like inevitably made a good game. Mm. Um, but you're right. Like when it came out, yeah, and what? like it didn't have space <laughs> it was battles. Bad. I, I don't know if it has space battles now, but I remember I played the original Star Wars Battlefront two, and space battles was like my favorite part. Like yeah. sneaking onto the enemy ship and then like sabotaging their generators. <laughs> I know they're um, just like a straight up game that's like space battles are just all about yeah. like, being that like was but it Rogue Squadron? Yeah. Maybe. But I know the one they made was basically very different from the original right. in terms right. of gameplay. And that mm-hmm. kind of turned you off from the game, right? Yeah. And I think that's the thing. When you're doing any sort of like second installment, like a new whether it's a new game or a um Okay, well, okay, maybe not. Like, I was going to say, whether it's a new game or whether it's, like, a remake or, a re- like, a, like a, just updating the, or remastered of the game, you have to keep the core elements there to, because you're pretty much doing fan service. If you're releasing it, you're, you're doing fan service. However, in that thought, I was just thinking, okay, well, you know, kind of what Final Fantasy did, Final Fantasy VII did, is, yeah, you have that, you have those aspects that are the core about the game, Mm-hmm. But then if you it kind of limits the developer. So you you kind of have to look at where can you take this franchise next? And like with Battletoads, it is completely self-aware of itself. Like it makes jokes about being like this 90s hit and everything like that. Um, and these characters playing these stereotypes. However, I feel like they could have reimagined it as a different way. Like these Zip, Pimple, and Rash love the names. I also love the characters. <laughs> they could actually be really good characters to take it a step further i don't know if i would necessarily go like the a platforming route but i would still keep it with like a side scrolling beat em up style but if they introduce different elements which i think they tried to do um they they just let that kind of take over what the game was or is um yeah. where they should have had the core beat em up style throughout the game and sprinkled with these new elements, so you still are satisfying your core fan base um, that's looking for that nostalgia, but then you could help introduce new elements. So if you were to re- release a sequel of Battletoads, you could then, you kind of have permission, if it's taken well from the community, to go other places with it. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be interesting. Mm-hmm. I think uh, yeah. there's this game that I played recently it's called Dragon Quest, the most recent one on uh, Nintendo Switch. They did this thing where you can do like, um, like a pixel mode, or, uh, or versus like, an like mode? yeah, they ate like an eight bit mode, or you can do like the three D open world mode, which I thought was cool. just like crazy. So what if like Battletoads did something like that? Yeah, yeah, that could I, be I, fun. I think it could be absolutely fun. It just need, I think any any type of remake that you do or um, rebooting of a franchise that you do, you have to just have focus, which yeah. I think the yeah. game, although it's great, it just lacks that focus um, in terms of what it wants to be. A uh, recalibrate sit in chat that they played it last night and it, it's a great game. The space stuff in the game was a hundred percent the weakest aspect. In it, and I, I agree with that. Uh, Stealth gamer in chat says, what about Tony Hawk pro skater one and two remake? And uh, that that's that release, one. yeah, that's that's a really good one. But they they pretty much just <laughs> really did the graphics again, right? The graphic yeah. update because when you look at 
pros like the original i didn't realize how bad graphics were back in the those days like I thought, <laughs> yeah i was like oh that was yeah, like, too you far look back and you're like i don't remember it like this yeah, yeah, yeah exactly yeah. and then your <laughs> eyes hurt or you go into a seizure after playing it right like you just can't it take in what it's trying to give you uh but yeah. tony Hawk, tony Hawk, they're good ones but Again, just I feel like it's the graphics and they added like a little bit of elements with uh, the soundtracks. Um, and yeah, I, I, I want to see more of this. Like if there's a game out there for you guys that you could either get a second installment of or a reboot of, what would that game be? Hmm. I definitely don't have oh, one from man. like the 90s era era but for some reason i really like want to see when you were a kid when you were a kid a game of when you were a oh kid, okay okay or like you know just not in it like not like in the last five years oh right? yeah have yeah. you guys played okami oh yes i would love for them to like either remake that game or do like a new one that's uh that's like a bit harder yeah so that would be really cool okami but i also really like wolves yeah. wolves are really awesome <laughs> <laughs> so maybe that's why um i mean for me like i'm thinking that they they were trying to do this and then konami or did what they did uh silent hill mm. you know? oh, yeah. what did they do the new silent hill well did you did, have you ever heard of pt alex oh oh yeah, yeah. that was supposed to be silent hill yeah. yeah well yeah when you when you beat the demo it's revealed like it was supposed to be it's it's silent hills was the game the name oh. of the game? Yeah. Um, but you then may, you know what? You may get what you may get it. There's lots of rumors floating around yes. that yep. uh Kojima may come back to Konami to do Silent Hill. So go back to Konami? I'm sorry. Yeah. So they <laughs> may go, no, not go back, like work with them as a partnership. He's that's gonna, crazy. So, if that happens, that's yeah, wild. I was like reading the Reddits. Recently, after I well, not recently, after I finished Death Stranding, and like there, he was like kind of hinting at news, but not hinting at news. So I was reading all the Reddits, and like there's a lot of rumors going about right now. That Victoria, if that ever were to happen, it had to have been that Konami was like, please, we, we messed are up. Sorry. We messed please. up. Please, <laughs> everyone hates us. Yeah. This is the game, you know, because there's no other way I see Hideo Kojima being like, okay, I'll work with you guys because they like. <laughs> treated him horribly did, like did the whole they? game awards fiasco is like crazy oh, again oh they i feel wouldn't like... allow him to go to the yeah. game awards oh yeah wow but, but that was something that a lot of developers were was it no i'm confusing it sorry 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 yeah you're right but i do think there's two sides to that story um which we could probably talk about in a whole nother yeah <laughs> He was I don't, I don't worship at the altar of Hideo Kojima either. Like I, I thought Metal Gear Solid Five was like a genuinely not good game, and <laughs> I feel the kind of same way about Death Stranding. Whoa, but like, okay, whoa, 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 but, whoa, 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 whoa. What? Yeah, you must have a lot yeah. of fun walking around in that game. Um, no, did you like, play the full game? Sure did. Did you see the uh, baby? Did. Yeah, sure did. <laughs> <laughs> did anyone have you no heart? <laughs> Um yes! anyways, I love the, the point, game. The point is the oh point is God. I like I, I don't like I'm not in love with the guy the way that some people are. And not that <laughs> that's a problem. I understand that people like like people worship Hideo Kojima the way that like film Twitter worships Christopher Nolan. Um so I, I'm not of that's that. That's a good opinion. analogy, actually. Yeah, thank you. Uh, <laughs> so I'm, not, I'm not of that opinion, but I just think like, oh my god, they treat him so terribly. But if he if somehow he was he patched things up with Konami. Okay, cool. Because I would love to see the vision that he had for for Silent Hills. Because that demo is like amazing. It's so quality. so scary. Yeah, yeah. It's, I remember it's playing amazing. that. Ugh. It is. It is. I played it and then I stopped because I was too scared. So I had to <laughs> yeah, me too. No, like I, I, I was love the way crying. the radio was like talking to you. Essentially, oh and it's my! Like, Don't touch that dial uh, now. We're just getting started. Like, oh my god, all that stuff is so good. It's well, so you saw good. how. A hacker went in, and they actually the ghost, the Lisa, was following you throughout yep. the whole yep. freaking game. Yep. Yeah, it was a spoiler. Demo. That was the demo. That's like the, the the smallest sample sizing he could have probably offered in what you could have fully experienced out of that game. So it's such mm -hmm. a bummer that all the things that went down with it went down. 
But I'm so glad at least that PT is out there. And yeah. hopefully, if you downloaded it, it on your correct. PlayStation, <laughs> here's your go. I have it. I'm Same trying here, to my, it too. my pro. So I, I still, have it. I still too, have yeah. it. Yeah. But um, yeah. uh, I feel like if we do see Kojima go to Konami, it would be a Kojima Productions slash Konami game, right? Like, it, he, I think that's why he would do it. Because he would, if he's coming in as Kojima Productions, not just as one of the devs, he yeah. will have more freedom of the game. Um, and you know, I I like I like Kojima. Maybe he'll make you walk around even more. Oh, <laughs> maybe he'll make you run. Can we time Whoa. out the for a Whoa. second? I know we're all we're all supposed to be listening to our opinions, but can we just? Time out, caboose. That's uh, turning Victoria, walks, you were, so you were trying to, to run. You were yeah. trying to say something uh, uh, earlier. Let me yeah. say that it's definitely possible because recently Silent Hill put their Pyramid Head Killer in DVD. Oh yeah, yeah. And that could be hyping up the Silent Hill stuff. You're True. absolutely right. You're absolutely uh, right. There's that stuff like that isn't always just coincidence. Like yes, they definitely they definitely know the player base is there for Dead by Daylight and. I could see that being the case that they're like, hey, remember remember the whole Silent Hill thing? You know? Yeah. <laughs> Go play our game. Exactly. And it will take us like oh, a while probably to see it if it does happen. But I mean, those yeah. teases in marketing, we saw it with uh, COD, right? Their tease for right. Cold War was in Warzone for a while, right? So yep. uh, we'll have or to like see that. like the Batman game? Yeah, well, let's talk about that in just a bit. I just want to get. To <laughs> <that>. <laughs> okay, I know. Right. Let's, let's just let Caboose wait a, a little longer. But um, yeah. I just wanted to get to some chat stuff. So chat says Death Stranding was meh. Okay, Baron. Oh, beautiful. Okay, that's great. That's great. It's a hot take. <laughs> I don't know why I read that one. Um, <laughs> I, I can't believe you guys. Chat. I'm so disappointed. Right having now. a I'm terrible so time today. <laughs> Um, I love the world building and setting of Death Stranding, but the gameplay itself is meh. Great game to watch for sure. Okay, we're I, that's my topic for next week. <laughs> Why Death Stranding? Death Stranding. Okay, I'm I'm putting it right now. Uh, Kunami, please. Yukio says, and I completely feel that. 